Kia ora tamariki ma. welcome back to Hanging with Mrs. T. Um, today and for the next couple of videos, I'm going to be having a strong focus on Anzac and what it means and some of the crafts that I'm going to be doing is Anzac related. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I really hope that you do decide to do the crafts as well that are a lot of fun. Um, this very first video today is going to be um, about how to make poppy origami. Um, I'll be doing it on white paper and red paper so that you can see exactly step by step what it is you need to do. Um, I hope you enjoy and um, give it a go. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Kakite. All right, so for this lesson you will need um, either some red paper or some white paper, um, a pair of scissors and just your two hands. Now I've prepared a white one um, just before so you can kind of have an idea of what it will look like in the end. Alright, first off, if you want to make a big flower like this, you're going to need an A4 sheet but you're going to have to cut it into a square shape. So the easiest way to do that is to fold your sheet so you bring the right corner down until it meets up with the side and it forms this triangle okay just like that then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut off this rectangular strip just like this now, you don't have to discard this because you can use it at a later stage. So we'll just put that to the side. Right, now you have a beautiful square. You've got this line running through the middle. We want to create another line running that way. So you're going to take this bottom left hand corner and bring it up to the top right hand corner. And you're going to fold your sheet. Once you've done that, you can open it up and you have this beautiful cross on your sheet. Next step is you're going to take your bottom corners and you're going to bring them up to your top corners and fold it into a rectangle. And then you're going to take your left hand corners or your right hand corners and bring them over to the opposite side. So you end up with this beautiful star pattern on your white piece of paper. For the next step, you're going to need both your hands, obviously, because um, it can be quite tricky. So watch it very carefully. And if you need to go back and watch it again, the easiest way to explain this is you're going to bring all four corners together. And I like to do it this way. I pinch at the bottom and I pinch overhead with my fingers and I bring my four corners together just like that okay another way you can do it is just fold it like that again so fold it in your rectangle and push your corners together like this so this part is opening up right and just adjust at the bottom make sure that it makes a nice point for you Okay, so here's the bottom, here's the top, and I'm just going to flatten it out so it's going to look like a diamond shape. So again, from this position, bring your corners together, you can either do it this way and push it out like that, or you can squash it together just like this and flatten it out like that. Now that we're at this stage, you're going to fold these bits. Make sure that your bottom closed part is facing towards you. And you're going to fold them. It doesn't matter which way you fold them, but as long as you fold them just like this. So essentially what you're doing is you're bringing this up and meeting it in the middle of that crease line. I'm going to flip it over and do the same to the one underneath. So I've got two folded sides, I've got two more to go. And fold 
this one over. And then my last one. And fold that one over. So you're going to end up with something that looks like this. And then fold it in. And my top part can still open. Alright, now comes the part where you might need to ask for some help, um, but you also need to be very careful because you're going to be twisting this bottom part of your flower. So I'm going to try to do this very carefully. Um, sometimes if you do twist a bit too hard, it does rip. It's not the end of the world. So I'm just giving it a little twist. Once I've twisted it, I'm just going to hold it in place for a few seconds. Then I'm going to put my fingers in the middle of my flower and just gently push it open while I'm still holding the bottom. So gently push it open. Okay, and that's what you end up with. And the very last step is just folding these back. Just like that. And there is your origami poppy. Now, what you can do at this point, if you're using white paper, if you don't have red paper, that's fine. Um, you can undo it all once you've folded it. You can get your pencils. And you can give it a color. So I just do this part quite high because it's the middle part. I can see here that that's where I twisted my paper. So you don't even have to color it down that far. Okay. And then I'm going to get my red. and color that part. There we go. Let's have a quick look if I refold it to see what it's going to look like with the colored bit. Now, if I colored the whole thing, the whole thing would look like a poppy. And you can obviously color with whatever you choose. All right, I'm gonna do exactly the same as what I did with um, the white paper. I'm going to do that with some red paper. Um, why don't you join in this time? Get yourself some paper, get a scissors, and see if you can do it as well. Um, the red ones I'm going to make a little bit smaller. So I've got my red paper here. I'm still going to fold it into my square shape. But out of this square shape, I'm going to make four um, smaller poppies. So I'm still going to do the, the four fold. And then I'm going to cut it smaller. About poppies um, why don't you find out some facts and um, comment down below it's quite they have quite an interesting history did you know that poppies don't just come in the color red okay so I've done my middle fold I'm gonna do that again um, also did you know that after the war um, a soldier actually wrote a poem about a field of poppies and how that was the only thing that he could see when the war was over. And he 
um, likened it to um, the amount of bodies that were strewn across the fields. Okay, so I'm at my diamond part. Open, closed. I'm going to fold this one the other way so you can see that it doesn't really matter which way you fold it. A couple of years ago when I was on a placement, before I became a teacher, um, I did this at one of the schools here in Auckland um, for an Anzac service and I caused um, a poppy explosion. They absolutely loved it. The class I was teaching in um, decided to show all the other classes and they used it um, for their assembly. Right, I've now twisted the bottom. This one was a little bit easier just because it's smaller. Um, now I'm opening it up. Oh, look at that. That's just gorgeous. That is just beautiful. Um, I'm going to find a black pen instead of a pencil. Oh, here we go. I'm just going to use a vivid and just colour in here in the middle. Here we go. Some beautiful poppy origami. Um, Later on, uh, I'm going to have a couple of these. I'm going to create a beautiful wreath, um, a poppy wreath, with some origami leaves as well. So I'll do another video um, for you guys on that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, feel free to give it a like, share it with your friends, and give it a go. It'll be great to see what you guys can come up with. Uh, take care. Thanks for hanging with Mrs. T. Kakite.